Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to define what parametric equations are. And of course, we're dealing with parametric equations in three dimensions here. So what are parametric equations? Well, parametric equations are equations. But what do they do? Well, they enable us to define the position of a point in three-dimensional space in terms of x, y, and z, or the change in position from one point to another point by defining just a single variable. So a value for that single variable will define a point in space, and a change in that value of that single variable will change the position of that point in space, will go to a new point in space, and so the x, y, and z will change by the change of that single variable. Now the change for x, and the change for y, and the change for z may be different with that change in that variable, but nevertheless, if we define that change of x, y, and z separately in terms of how much t change, or how much that one variable changes, then we have parametric equations. So here we have, in general, that x now becomes a function of that parametric variable. And let's say that in this case, as an example, our parametric variable is the, var is the variable t. So that becomes the variable that we're going to use in our parametric equations. We're going to define x in terms of t, y in terms of t, and z in terms of t. So all the three variables, x, y, and z, are now going to be expressed in terms of some function of t. So then when t changes, we can calculate how much x, y, and z changes. Here we have some simple examples. Let's say that x is equal to 1 plus 1t, one y is equal to 2 plus 2t, two and z is equal to 3 minus 3t, three which means we've defined our three variables x, y, and z in terms of t, and how x, y, and z will change when t changes. And you can see that x, y, and z, when t is equal to 0, have different values x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, and z equals to 3 when t is equal to 0. So that's our initial state. When t is equal to 0, we have our x, y, and z variables defined. Then when t takes on a value, those x, y, and z variables are now going to change, but they're going to change differently depending upon whether or not we have x, y, or z, because they have different functions, different relationships with that one variable. In this case, you can see that x, y, and z are linearly dependent on t because t is multiplied by a constant. If we have, for example, x equals 1 plus t squared, then there wouldn't be that linear dependency. So the general format of linear equations or linear parametric equations are this. x is equal to some initial value for x plus some constant times t y is some initial value for y plus some constant times t and z is some initial value for z plus some constant times t a b and c are constants if they're different constants then there's a different relationship between x y and z but in other words the change in x y and z will be different compared to one another when t changes because these constants are different so now let's see a simple example we'll take the same parametric equations and we'll define the point in space when t is equal to 0, which means the point in space is x equals 1, y equals 2, z equals 3. That's that point right here. Then when we allow a change in t, we go from t equals 0 to t equals 1, then x, y, and z will change according to their what we call parametric equations. We can calculate how much it will change. So that means that when t is now equal to 1, x becomes equal to 2. When t is equal to 1, y becomes equal to 4. And when t is equal to 1, 3 minus 3, z becomes 0. So our new location in space is defined by that one variable t, which now tells us what our new x, our new y, and our new z will be. And that's what we mean by parametric equations. It allows us to pick points or pick values for x, y, and z according to that point or associated with that point by the parametric variable and those relationships between that parametric variable t and the three values x, y, and z are defined by the three parametric equations. The parametric equations define how x, y, and z change when we have a change in our one parametric variable. And that's what we mean by parametric equations.